and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Viego Shivana deck, another viewer submitted deck. This one's going to be another spooky dragons with the new Shadow Isles dragons. Not quite exactly real new now, but <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. We got Crawling Viper Worm, we got um, Camivoran Dragon. What I'm excited about with this deck is playing three copies of Camivoran Dragon with three copies of Ruined Dragon Guard. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to have. It's going to be lower to the ground dragon deck with three hapless aristocrats to go along with your dragon chows and even a warden's prey. So lots of, um, you know, lots of fuel for us to eat with our dragons so we can strike our allies, get the fury, get the extra counters on them. Because if we play a dragon guard, then even like the Viper Worm gets two plus one plus one counters immediately if, if it eats something. Um, so, you know, turns into a 5-4. That's pretty awesome. You know, like that's that's a big deal. So that, that's going to be exciting. So that's what we're doing. Then, of course, the larger the dragons are, the better for Viego. Because then whenever we kill large dragons, that, that will help our Viego level up. So we'll have Shivana, we'll have Viego at the top end, two Hydrofines. As far as spells go, we'll have a couple Withering Wheels, a Concerted Strike, Strafing Strike, and then Single Combats with Sharp Sight, Black Spear. Not a whole lot of card draw. Um, no Glimpse Beyonds in here. Not really drawing any cards. We're just going to be you know, playing to the board, hope, hoping our hand is good enough. Hope we find the right stuff. We'll, and, and not like any expensive dragons, right? It stops at Camivore and Dragon and Shivana. But that's what Egghead Research is going to do. It can create some of the more expensive dragons for us if we need them. All right, but that's so it's an interesting list. So let's go ahead and try it out. It's going to be Viego Shivana. We'll go play five games in ranked. All right, Aurelia Azir. And so like this kind of matchup, this is uh, going to reward us for being so low to the ground. Yeah, let's just go with it. Let's go, you know, Aristocrat on one. We'll save mana Black Spear. Uh, you know, can kill stuff. Killing stuff's good. Double Camivore and Soldier, Viego. Perfect Viego draw. I must get out of here. This looks like a pretty spooky deck right now. Yeah, definitely the matchup for Camivore and Dragon. Yeah, that's true, with Camivore and Dragon getting the... Uh, you know, every time it slays, you drain one, so you get to just continually block these Blade Dance stuff, and then also uh, slay as well. Like, so you slay and then you, you drain one. All right, so far so good. I could have opened attack for six. Went ahead and played this first. Get a better attack, because really Azir is not too interested in blocking too much. And maybe I should have blocked their, their other 1-1 one, one with that, so I would have saved one life instead of dealt one damage. That could have potentially been worth it. Submission or death for all who leave. So they attack, I get to block with like one of these things. Viego just stays. Oh wow! All right, well that's a that's a that's not how that's supposed to work, right? Yeah, that's a bug, right? Like that. Viego should be a seven five right now, not a seven six. Oh, well now it turns into an eight six. All right, so there we go. I don't really want them like Shapestone or really uh, kill my Viego. Okay. 
Now they don't get to block and then do that. So that's cool. Of course, once this encroaching mist dies, it will make another encroaching mist. Turn back, trespasser. So I guess it will buff up Viego to seven, so one shape stone doesn't kill Viego. I will not be made to your rhythms off. All right, so where are we at? We're at three right now. So it's gonna be three, six, nine, thirteen. Want to do this right now before uh, before they level up earlier. You matter so little. We can assume that they don't have another pump spell to feel like they would have had a pump spell. They would have uh, killed the Viego. People with pride. Yeah, we lost to Viego. That's that's okay. All we need is this one that's in play. Two mana gives plus two plus two for dragons. I do not know that card. I guess the answer is no. We don't have that. So we'll take the 2-1 round start. Oh, I tried to do the GG's. It just went away too fast. All right, 1 and 0. Oh. Diego Shivana looking good. There is only darkness. Oh no, I would rather play against Aurelia's here again. <laughs> These thralls, they can get pretty big and scary. We got to hope they don't have thralls right away. I feel like I'm singing a song. <laughs> That's a good sign, they mulligan everything. No frozen thrall, please. Let's go with the prey. Pass. No, they had it. After the mulligan. Well, this ain't good. So just do 40 damage to them, just like if we would have open attacked. Um, I could have dealt one additional point of damage to put two damage on my Camivoran Soldier if I would have played the Camivoran Soldier, because they would have blocked the Soldier. Wow. Let's gonna do this. Draclorn. Don't play Draclorn or Talia. No Draclorn, no Talia. Mm. 
All right, so this would be 4, 5, 10, 13, 14, 12. It does level up Shivana. I think I have to have single combat. I obviously I'd much rather play Shivana, but I think we have to I think this is Drac Lorne and I have to have single combat for Drac Lorne. It slows them down it just slows them down around, but that, that slow them down around is a big deal, right? Like that's not them that's you know, sixteen overwhelm damage one you know, for one round. I just shouldn't have played uh well I guess I needed two mana. Never mind, I was gonna say I shouldn't have played the Hapless Earth Scrab, I wouldn't have had enough still. But I wish I could play. Oh, Okay, well that is not exactly the worst thing ever. It's not necessarily the best either. Oh, that's the worst thing ever. Now I don't get to draw that card from the... I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Oh, man. And they still get to attack this round. Okay, well, that was the worst possible outcome. I definitely should have just played Shivana if this was going to be the outcome. But it looks, it looks like we're dead. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. That was the worst possible outcome. GG's thralls. GG's. That's why you don't want them to have that frozen thrall in round one. You know, if they had to like you know use that frozen thrall from the Lissandra, it's just they're a little bit slower. Okay, we got Brahma really in soul. Probably gonna be a Targon's peak deck, that would be my guess. Alright, you're gone. Um, I guess I have to send you back also. I don't know. Yeah. Let's do Camelhorn Soldiers. Okay. Got a Camelhorn Soldier. Vandal City is next week. Basically a week from today. What's that noise? A week from yesterday. The 25th is when it will be available. We'll know all the cards on the 24th, and then it will be on a uh, client ready to play the 25th. Yeah, we got a ruined Dragon Guard deck. So yeah, good stuff. Um, every single day. I think that there's enough champions that every single day until like the 24th we will get an, an additional champion previewed. Man, Braum, you're so good. How does anybody ever beat Braum ever? It's impossible. Looks like they got this. I my hand like these ruined dragon guards don't do anything. <laughs> okay, okay. So I can play. Uh, let's see. I can go. Smoke, ash, and dragon fire. Hapless Aristocrat's taking up too much room. We need to draw some spells, right? Like, we we have drawn only units right now. There's 12 spells in the deck. I'll kind of take any of them. Just give me some spells. Such fascinating creatures. I'm standing right here, friend. Have you met my shield? 
This is fun, yes? What is this? Surrender to me! We're getting more encroaching mess. Alright, so my goal is to level up Viego. There are none like me. I must get out of here. We still kind of need some spells. Any spell will be. Any spell will do. Alright, 18. So that gets the Havels Aristocrat out of here that was just clogging up too much space. Wow! What was in their hands? They could they they just couldn't deal with the deal with the Viego at all. All this for her. Wow. Yeah, I guess we didn't need a spell. So yeah, I guess yeah, I guess no Aurelian Soul, no Feel the Rush. Nothing like that. So now we have what is this, Lissandra Trundle? Yeah, so a Watcher deck. Should... Uh, I guess I keep one hapless aristocrat? Nah. You know, for my dragons to slay, but we'll find other stuff. <laughs> no attacks. They scared. What's that noise? Still scared. I want to have a drag. I don't want like the dragon to die to you know avalanches and ice shards and all that kind of stuff. Looks like we have a yeti deck. Do they have the free yetis? One free yeti. One free yeti. I got blockers for yetis. Ages past, I remain. I'd like to draw like a sharp sight, something to help protect Viego. Kimavoran dragon. Sacrifice for a greater That's always a really cool combo. So they go Ethereal Remitter. That 8 drop put in a 10 drop, so they got the Scuttlegeist. That's a really cool combo. I do this for her. For us. No one wants to attack against my hydr my uh, hapless aristocrats ever. You will do as I command. I'll do whatever I want. So drain one doesn't really work against tough nexus, or so I have been told. The trap is set. Need to clear some room out. Surrender to me. 
I shards should cost mana, even whenever they're created. They should still cost like three mana. Yep. Alright, we got the flash freeze out of their hand, right? Like we have to get it out of their hand. And now that those hapless earth scraps are dead, we got room. Right now, Viego would go to 19. Very intrigued with just casting Sharp Sight on an Encroaching Mist to make it so Viego levels up. Yeah, that's gotta be worth it. Oh, you're saying this isn't going to work? It's going to die as a 4-4, not as a 6-6? The sharp sight ends before it dies? Really? That's new. Well. Well, now it can be 6. I did not know that that was a thing. I did not know that the sharp sight would go away and then it dies. That one, that two one's gonna die to like an ice shard anyway. Embrace the cold. Now they don't have that two one to block. They can just block with a, you know, one of these things though. Do I need to concerted strike this Lissandra? So they needed that room, now they can... So assuming they go get Spectral Matron, you know, Matron Watcher, blah blah blah. I can try to Concerted Strike Watcher. I told you. That's basically the only thing I'm scared about right now, is Watcher. Watcher at least still leaves three non-champions, which is good. Oh, I should delete their Enraged Yeti. Right? Or do I give them back in Rage Yeti so it fills their board up? I guess I can't watch her anymore. Yeah, not a bad random Celestial. Attacking with a little bit of Overwhelm, it's pretty good.
So we'll see if they got some Frostbite cards. Just doing that? That's probably not going to work. Alright, so that gets rid of the tough Nexus. There we go. Alright, three and one. So I guess it wasn't it wasn't Spectral Matron that they grabbed, it was a Bombal Guardian that they grabbed with the Babbling Beard. You like Vagar more than Braum? We could play them both. Vagar Braum control. It could work. What are we playing against? Some dragons? We got our own dragons. These are all pretty good cards. It's nice to have Strafing Strikes and Dragon Mirrors. We need to draw something small, but I think that we'll draw something small. See, there we go. So round three after they attack, I play Chow. This ruined Shivana skin, like with this deck, is perfect. What a specimen. Hmm. I've got your back. Our deck has so many good cards. Yay. Saying yay because they didn't um, use a spell to kill that. You must have some unique insight of the dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Hmm. On me. Yeah. Hmm. I guess this is my best play. We're left with twice as many cards in hand as they have, so I think that we're still in a good spot. Right, like it's We're trading two for three right there. Traded Shivana plus uh, that fight spell he just played for Sharp Sight and the their four drop and their one drop. Honor guide me. The whole world will know my language. Double camavore and soldier. That's Fury itself. Double Camel and Soldier. You know, I just wait till next round and get a new another blocker. Nah, I don't really need him. Mm, yeah, I guess so. It's pretty crazy how that works, how you just get like the free blocker. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Man, Viego is nuts. So this seems like another matchup Viego can solo, so like <laughs> like every matchup basically. <laughs> Wow. So do I want to go wow, or do we want to play the Hydra Vine? Good options, good options. Let's start by attacking. I love the infinite mind splitter ETV sound. That wow. They have to have like concerted strike, right? Like they have to kill Viego. Like that's that's just the game. If they they don't have like concerted strike to 
kill Viego, or you know, like challenge it with Hush or uh, you know, sharp sight single combat. You know, they gotta have some some. I will not be made to wait. Where are you at? Thirteen. This will level up Diego. Cool. That's great. Because that, that dies, so we put in the new Encroaching Mist, and now the new Encroaching Mist will die end of round, because now Viego's at 18. So level up. And Viego's on the far left. That doesn't mean that I think Viego happens first, so I guess we'll steal this thing first and then make Encroaching Mist. I'd rather do it the other way around. Rather those be s swapped, like where we'd make the Encroaching Mist first and then steal this, but... Oh well, we can still, of course, just you know delete this by just covering it up. Clad in shining sunlight. Best ETV sound ever. Wow. Hamster Bump says, the, I think the only nerf Viego needs is to remove the ability to obliterate stolen units. I think really, like, a nerf to Viego really should be just a nerf to Hydravine. That's, that's the card that is in need of a nerf, in my opinion. It's Hydravine. I think that Hy basically I think Hydrovine body should be I don't know like the whole summon and round start every single round you get these encroaching mists it's this is pretty crazy like getting just a, an additional unit every round that gets larger and larger and larger that's the card I think like the actual Viego is okay but that card just makes Viego absurd that that's the card that's the problem it could be yeah you could turn it into like rekindler body. Right, be like like how Rekindler is just a seven mana four four with no no ability. Like I could definitely see Hydrovine just being a seven mana four four that does that. You know, like you give a Rekindler body, just how big it it, it is and fearsome and all of that, all the stats it gets is kind of silly. Maybe it's a when I'm summoned or attack, so you like have to attack with your Hydrovine to get Encroaching Miss when I'm summoned or attack, but then, you know, you still want to attack with the 7-6 Fearsome, but, like, it, it, it's not just, like, every round you're just getting these things. I think this is the card that's, that's the big problem with Viego. I think the Camerborn Soldier is cool. Like, that's really well designed. Like, that's cool. This is the, this is the thing that's the problem. All right, so that's going to be it here for Viego Shivana. Great showing. Nice 4-1 and one record. We did run into a lot of opponents that just could not kill our Viegos, and Viegos just dominated. We got a nice little uh, game that, like, Egghead Researchers were awesome. We got a nice game by creating an infinite mind splitter for, uh, you know, with the Egghead Researcher. That was really cool. I like those Researchers a lot, and so I think I would take out this Warden's Prey and just play another Egghead Researcher, I would think, because those Egghead Researchers really did perform well. I think I would do that. We, you got all those Hapless Aristocrats at one, and I know I, I was kind of, you know, complaining about the Hapless Aristocrats some, but I actually think it's it's nice to play them. I think that they do a lot of, like, little things uh, for you, and they slow the game down, which is exactly what you need. You, you just want that speed bump. For that slowing the game down so i think i, I would play the third egghead researcher though because especially not playing screeching dragon and maybe that's where i've gone wrong playing shivana viego decks in the past i've always also played screeching dragons but didn't feel like we missed the screeching dragon but not not playing them means that we have you know less top end than normal so having the egghead researchers are okay the only other thing about the deck was the ruined dragon guards maybe need to give it some more test but it didn't 
uh, perform too well. Another option, of course, is Laurent Protégé in that slot, like where you can just have your Protégé be a challenger. It can take down smaller things. You can also have, you know, you can also have it die to help your VA go out. So, you know, maybe Laurent Protégé over Dragon Guard. Um, but besides that, everything else looked good and it performed really well. It was nice having all those sharp sights. Um, even Black Spear did okay at one point. Black Spear is not my favorite, though. You could definitely play a different card than a Black Spear. You could play, like, a Prismatic Barrier to protect Viego from challengers and things like that. Or, you know, like, there's other things you could do. Some Golden Ages. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. Anyway, that's going to be Viego, Shivana, Spooky Dragons. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What do you think of Ruined Dragon Guard? Do you think it it's uh, really cool? Do you like it in this deck? Would you prefer to replace it? Yeah, let me know what you think of Ruined Dragon Guard uh, over there in the comments. All right, but that's going to be it here for Viego, Shivana. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.